this funny shaped butternut squash, phallic in nature. For whatever reason, we have one plant producing like that, and the rest are producing like regular ones. But before I get started with that, I have some seeds from a zucchini and they've been drying because we keep a lot of our seeds and then we reuse them the next year. So we don't have to keep purchasing seeds. One of the ways we can do that is by putting them in an envelope. We're gonna be peeling this so it doesn't really matter too much if it's completely clean. I'm not going to scrub it, I'm just going to try to get the big chunks off. We're going to peel it before we finish. Also going to be doing something else with it too. So, start by just popping the end off. So, one of the things I'm going to do notice the handle is just shy of one inch. I want my cube to be about this distance apart. So I'm just going to use that as a measure. That way I don't end up with smaller chunks. I can make it more uniform this way. part of the seasoning, this is part of the preserving. Peanuts that we grow, we've actually never purchased peanut seeds. Two years ago, yeah, two years ago, uh, one of the farmers in the local area planted a field across the road from us with peanuts. Well, when he was done with his harvest, the neighbor who owns the property said we could go ahead and if there was any seeds left or peanuts left, we could have them. So I collected probably a gallon, gallon and a half of peanuts in a five gallon bucket. That's why I'm measuring it by gallons, not pounds or amount. 
brought them back over here, we cleaned them, we liked them, I kept a pint jar of peanuts in the fridge until the next spring. That pint jar we planted and we ended up getting a bowl about this big of peanuts out of one pint. So, because we went through the peanuts fairly quickly, that was in-shell peanuts, that wasn't out-of-shell peanuts, just in-shell. We ended up going through those real quick, so what we did last year, out of that harvest, we kept a quart jar of peanuts in the fridge. Raw peanuts, not, you know, planters that you buy at the store. These were literally out of the dirt, rinse, and then we put them into the fridge. And they kept four over the winter. Planted them in the spring, and I don't know if I videoed it, but our lower garden has mostly peanuts and a few okra plants in it. So, we try to harvest as many of our own seeds as possible. So, one cup of sugar. I'm gonna go with two cloves of garlic. One. Two teaspoons of fennel seeds. So, two teaspoons. One, two. Ooh, kind of like the smell of that. And a quarter teaspoon of black peppercorns. I don't know, a quarter teaspoon, really? Yeah, close enough. We're gonna use white vinegar. Yeah. Keep it simple. So if it turns out horrible, try the white wine vinegar next time. Two and a half cups. Half cup of water. Just go ahead and... And we'll go ahead and turn the heat on. While we got that heat on, let's go ahead and turn this heat on. Get the canner going again. She's still slightly warm from earlier, not much. Set a minute. Four sprigs of fresh thyme. Uh, we're gonna simmer this for 10 minutes because of the garlic. We're gonna basically slightly cook it. These are all clean. Paper just heaped. Turn the power off. Here's some pickled butternut squash. From Southern Yankee Homestead, have a good day and do something different.
just be yourself. Yeah, we do. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.